The sun is experiencing some strange phenomena. What? Yes, you heard correctly. And I am aware that you are as astonished as I was. Perhaps you're trying to figure out precisely what happened. As we are here to inform you of everything, don't worry. The truth will become clear if you watch the video all the way through. Let's get started. There are many strange things regarding the sun, but a revolutionary space mission has recently provided us with the information we may need to solve a few of them. The continual reconnection of minute lines of the magnetic field may account for at least a portion of the reason why certain regions of the sun are so much hotter than others, according to new findings from the European Space Agency's EESA Solar Orbiter. You are undoubtedly thinking, it's a star. Naturally, it is heated. The sun's surface temperature typical for a star similar to the sun at 5,500 degrees Celsius is the source of the issue. But as one moves away from the surface, the temperature of the stuff in the surrounding air only increases, reaching a mind-boggling 2 million degrees Celsius in the region's highest point, the corona. This equatorial heat inversion has been well known to us since the beginning of the 20th century, and it is believed to be a characteristic of many stars. But the reason behind this has yet to be understood by scientists. Frequent small-scale reconnection of magnets is one of the primary contenders to explain this occurrence. Magnetic recombination is an established solar behavior, at least on a big scale. Most stars are turbulent, swirling balls of scorching plasma. This fluid comprises particles with charges and exhibits intense interactions with electromagnetic radiation. That implies that stars like our Sun have magnetic fields that are incredibly complex and disorganized. These magnetically charged lines can tangle, stretch out snapping, and then reattach outside the photosphere, the Sun's innermost layer of atmosphere. This results in a massive energy surge, which catalyzes sunspots and massive coronal ejections, which launch materials into space. Scientists hypothesized that these reconnecting occurrences could warm the corona on a smaller scale by injecting energy into it. However, the sun is exceedingly bright and hot, making it difficult to see. We lack the resolution to discern the tiny scales where this activity would occur. Here is where Solar Orbiter comes into play. Established in February 2020, the ESA's solar probe has been observing our star nearby moving into dangerously near distances in a series of circling encounters to investigate its activity in breathtaking detail. For the initial close encounter, the spaceship saw something incredible as it got closer. On March 3, 2022, magnetic reconnection was discovered to be taking place on microscopic scales, measuring just 390 kilometers wide. That's amazing a phenomenon on the sun's surface that was a bit shorter than the Grand Canyon's length was resolved and studied by scientists. The empty point, where the strength of the magnetic field is zero, was seen by the spacecraft for over 60 minutes. The Earth's magnetic reconnection point is at this location. The null point's warmth was kept constant at about 10 million degrees Celsius. The null point also generated a constant outflow, seen as blobs of plasma, which streamed at velocities of about 80 kilometers slash. The null point also had a phase of more ferocious reconnection, but this is what is referred to as gentle reconnecting. The corona of the sun above them would receive energy as well as mass from these two kinds of reconnecting with others, creating a source of thermal energy that might be able to explain at least a portion of the temperature inversion, which is still not fully understood. Findings also imply that, at least in that comparative approach, reconnection might occur on scales that are too tiny for solar analyzer to resolve. The upcoming ones will be focusing on even more, in addition to the one just finished on April 10, which might result in additional precise discoveries. While this is going on, we now have the first observational proof that small-scale magnetic reconnecting is occurring continuously on the outermost layer of the Sun, verifying a long-held theory and moving us one step closer to understanding how the outermost layer of the Sun forms. That was all from our side. Subscribe to the channel if you like the video. See you in the following video.